everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel you guys today i'm going to be taking you through a beginner's pilates flow we will be working on the core abdominals legs a little bit of everything arms as well so if you guys are interested then keep watching so we're going to start in a little warm-up so bring your feet about hip distance apart soft bend in your knees and let's just take a few shoulder rolls so sliding the shoulder blades down the back make sure your neck is staying nice and long the chin is resting on a little shelf and the belly button is starting to engage towards the spine. Let's go for last one and take it forward, mobilizing the shoulder girdle. You can exaggerate the movement as much as you want. And then let's release the hands by our sides, tuck the chin in towards the chest, rolling one ear towards one shoulder and then taking it all the way to the opposite side. So just mobilizing the neck warming everything up let's go for two and last one from there bring yourself back to center bring your hands behind your head interlace the fingers or hold them by your ears as you inhale you open the chest open the collarbones look up as you exhale you tuck the tailbone under tuck the chin in inhale we open exhale seeker through the spine so it's like a cat cow but standing you're flexing and extending the spine working on the mobility for two and let's go for last one beautiful from there release your hands by your sides bring your heels together and toes apart so you're in a first position hands can rest on your hips let's just paddle out through the feet so you're lifting through the middle and then pushing into the toes so again here warming up the legs and the feet try to keep your spine nice and long and let's go for four, three, two, and one. Release both heels down. We go lift and lower. Exhale to lift, inhale to lower. So maybe you're lifting really high. Maybe you're just hovering off the floor. Wherever you are is perfect. Make sure you're engaged in your glutes and in your core. So belly button is in towards the spine. Glutes are squeezing. Shoulders are away from the ears. We lift for four and three, two more and last one let's step our feet wide into a wide plie stance from here we inhale to lower down exhale to come up you can also lower as low or as high as it works for you maybe you're just here taking a slight bend maybe you're coming all the way down make sure you're bringing your hips with you so you're tucking the tailbone under think piece of toast in a toaster <laughs> and keep going we go for three and two on the last one let's stay low bring your hands behind the head left elbow to left knee and then take it to the opposite side you can come a little bit high if this is too much or get nice and low if you want a little bit more fire let's go for four and three two one come up for a second and then get back into that deep plie left hand reaches for right ankle bring yourself back opposite ankle opposite hand and back try to stay low so working the legs keep squeezing the glutes and growing nice and tall through the crown of the head when you come back to center and up for three two more let's go for last one bring yourself back to center little pulses nine and eight seven more six five four three two one come all the way up release your hands let's shake those legs out step to the back of your mat so there is space in front of you inhale here as you exhale through the mouth tuck your chin in start rolling through the spine allow your head to be heavy arms are heavy and when your fingertips touch the ground let's bend our knees release the fingers onto the floor and take a little walk through the feet so pushing the heels down into the ground just paddling through the feet head is heavy and then release the heels down inhale here exhale start rolling through the spine once again one vertebra at a time slowly coming all the way up growing nice and tall head is the last thing to arrive inhale at the top exhale tucking the chin in once again 
rolling all the way down this time when your fingers touch the ground you can bend your knees and start walking your hands out into a full plank position if full plank is too much you can release your knees down or come onto your forearms otherwise right knee taps down bring it in left knee taps and lift so tapping one knee at a time if you want you can do the opposite if you're going from the knees you're lifting the knee off the ground so going the opposite way if you're with me belly button is in glutes are squeezing and we tap for three two more last one let's release both knees down and push back into a rest position or child's pose so just release the hips onto your heels find a deeper inhalation a deeper exhalation and when you're ready just roll through the spine come into a seated position onto your heels interlace the fingers and let's just roll out through the wrist if at any point your wrists are getting sore please feel free to come onto your fists or your forearms so taking a few circles different ways and let's come into an all fours position so here elbows are directly so here wrists are directly under the shoulders knees are directly under your hips let's just take a cat cow inhale drop the belly open the chest open the collarbones as you exhale you tuck the tailbone under tuck the chin in inhale we open exhale seeker through the spine into an angry cat and again back to your cow exhale into a cat and then find your neutral spine okay from here inhale to prepare exhale slide your right arm and left leg away from your center and then bring everything back switching to the opposite side extend left hand right leg away bring yourself back so maybe you want to keep working here maybe you want to take it a little bit further and lift your leg and arm away from your center make sure your back of the neck is staying extended you're gazing just in front of your hands so you're keeping spine long and the back of the neck long but relaxed in the shoulders at the same time bracing through the abdominals and lifting opposite arm opposite leg this is not about speed neither this is about height this is about finding the stability in the shoulders and in the pelvis so try to isolate the movement just to this lift and down last two and on your last one stay lifted and then little pulses here for nine push the ground away eight seven more six five four three two one release the knee release the hand extend the opposite arm opposite leg little pulses here for nine eight more seven six five four three two one let's release the hands and sit back onto your heels for a second if you need to do a little wave with your hands to release the wrists and let's come back into that all fours position this time let's tuck the toes under inhale here to prepare as you exhale you push the ground away and we hover both knees off the floor we tap the knees down we lift them up we go tap and lift try to keep that tabletop position in your spine so you are strong in the spine and in the shoulders for three and two last one release the knees down we go again take a breath here full breath inhale exhale here let's go inhale to prepare exhale hovering both knees off the floor we step the right foot out to the side left foot out to the side bring the right in left in we go step side step side step in step in and again side side in in last two last one go out out in in and release the knees down taking that rest position once again great job everybody so if your forehead is on the floor you can roll through your forehead so to the right and to the left to release any tension in the neck and from there come into a seated position let's swing our feet to the front 
and come into the seating position with knees bent. So feet are quite far away from your body. There's slight bend in those knees. Extend your arms forward, palms are facing each other. You can also bring your hands behind your knees if you want a bit more support. Inhale here. Exhale, tucking the tailbone under, start rolling through the spine slowly and then circle your arms on the floor and bring them overhead. Inhale here. Exhale, circling the arms all the way back, tucking the chin in, start reaching forward, bring yourself up, reach up towards the ceiling. Exhale, tucking the tailbone under, look for the mat with your lower back, circle the arms through the sides. Inhale. Exhale, circle the arms towards the feet, lift your head and control this off the ground with control coming all the way up. If this is too much, you can walk your hands onto your legs slowly, bringing yourself all the way down and then walking those hands onto your legs and come into a tall seating position. If you're going for a full variation, keep using those arms floating the arms up and down, circling them through, and then reaching the fingers up. Make sure the shoulders don't come anywhere near those ears. And let's go team for last one. Coming all the way up, stay here. Extend your arms forward, palms are facing each other. And then let's lean back halfway. So you're in this halfway leaning point, wherever that is for you. From there, lift your right leg off the floor, place it down left leg lifts place it down if this is too much come up a little bit if this is not enough lean back more so wherever you are is great and then we go lift tap down lift tap down for two last one feet are down stay in this leaning position right arm lifts bring it down left arm and down just for four working the abdominals and three Two more. Last one. Extend the arms forward. Palms are facing each other. Little pulls for eight. Seven more. Six. Five. Abs in. Four. Three. Two. One. Bring yourself all the way up. Bring your feet together, knees apart. And just drape yourself over those legs. Release the head. Find a deeper inhalation and a deeper exhalation. Just slowing down the heart rate. And then let's come on to our side. So we're coming onto our side. You can be on your forearm if that's okay with you, but you can also come all the way down if this is too much on your shoulders. If you're on your forearm, make sure the elbow is directly under the shoulders. Knees are stacked in front and feet are stacked in line with the hips. You can bring your top hand in front of your chest. On the exhalation, we open the knees inhale to close make sure you're pushing out of this forearm and growing tall away from that forearm so we're not collapsing into the shoulder chest is open shoulders are down knees are staying knees are opening and the feet are staying together try to point through the toes even though the feet are on the ground working the glute hips are staying nice and stacked core is staying engaged we go for four and three two more and the last one and then we add an extension so we open extend the leg away bring it in and close we go open extend bring it in and close a few more here keep breathing through it maybe you are just extending it a little bit maybe it's a full extension anything is good take it to your own level don't compare yourself to anybody else, but two. And let's go for last one. Close your clam. Let's open it again. Little pulse is halfway for nine. Eight more. Seven, six, five, woo, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, release the legs away. And let's come down onto our belly. So. Bring your hands under your forehead and just release your forehead onto your hands. Palms are facing towards the floor. Push through your pubic bone and squeeze your glutes to protect your lower back. 
on your next exhalation we're going to lift our head off the ground hands are staying on the floor and then you inhale to bring yourself slowly down so the feet are staying on the ground it's just your upper body that is moving the gaze is staying towards the floor so we are not hyper extending the neck and we're working on the posterior chain or the back lifting for four and three let's go for two and last one from there release your forehead onto the floor bring your hands behind your head interlace the fingers on your exhalation try to lift your chest nice and high squeeze your shoulders together pull your arms away from your head from there without moving your chest extend your arms into a t bring your thumbs up so you're making thumbs up with your fists we tap the fist down exhale to lift them up inhale to tap exhale to lift make sure you're still squeezing your glutes and you are looking at the mat so the neck is staying nice and long reaching the toes away on the floor lifting for four and three two more last one and release the hands under the forehead once again moving on to the legs on your next exhalation lift your right leg off the ground keep the knee straight inhale bring it down exhale lifting left inhale bring it down let's lift right and down so the upper body is staying nice and still anchoring you into the floor and lift reach the toe away try to keep pointing through the toe if you can maybe it's again a tiny little hover maybe it's a big lift as long as it's not a strain and you're moving with control lifting for three and two last one and then we add the arms so extend the arms away from your body and then on your exhalation we're going to lift opposite arm opposite leg head will lift exhale lift your right arm and left leg at the same time inhale bring yourself back to center exhale lifting left hand right leg and back to center make sure you are not looking forward or anywhere else but the mat so try to keep your gaze towards the mat lifting for three let's go for two and last one keep it lifted join in with the other arm and the leg if that's okay and then we're going for a little swim for four three two one release everything down release the forehead onto the hands bend your knees let's windscreen wipe the feet side to side and I'm breathing here releasing the lower back and when you're ready let's bend the knees bring the hands under your shoulders push yourself up and then we're switching on to the opposite side for our legs so bring yourself onto that forearm forearm is down elbow is directly under the shoulder knees are stacked feet are in line with the hips exhale to open the knee inhale bring it back exhale to open inhale bring it back so the feet are staying together just the knees are coming apart this is called the clam for obvious reasons keep pushing out of that forearm so you're creating space under that armpit you're protracting through that shoulder chest is open collarbones are staying open neck is long no frowning for three and two last one and then we add an extension let's open the knees extend bring the feet together and close we go open extend feet together and close and again reach the toe away in your own time with your own breath take it to your own level wherever that is if you need to take a rest at any point you can do so but try to stay with me belly button is in pelvic floor is lifted for two and let's go for last one and then keep that clam open little pulls for nine halfway eight seven six more five four three two one beautiful let's roll on to the back 
and move into some abdominals so slowly coming all the way down onto your back let's bring the hands behind the head interlace the fingers feet are quite close to the bum on their next exhalation you're going to lift your head neck and shoulders peel the shoulder blades off the floor inhale bring yourself down so the feet are staying on the floor elbows are staying nice and wide and keep the space under your chin exhale to lift inhale to lower we go lift and lower so try to imprint the lower back into the floor every time you come up and try not to doze with the abdominals so we are pulling navel towards the spine and let's go we lift for four and three So keeping the elbows nice and wide on your next exhalation you're going to lift your head neck and shoulders and then inhale bring yourself down so the elbows are hovering off the floor at all times try to keep the space under your chin and then try to lead with your chest and not with your face and then we're imprinting the lower back into the floor every time we come up lifting for four and three two more last one this time we're going to exhale lift and bring your right elbow towards left knee L lift the left leg off the floor and bring it down switching to the opposite side opposite knee opposite elbow and again lift and twist bring yourself down lift and twist and down so you're working into the obliques this time try to keep your lower back into the floor navel towards the spine and let's go for three and two last one and release your head down onto the ground release your hands forward towards your feet on your next exhalation lift your arms and your shoulders and your head off the ground reach your right hand to right ankle and then left we twist and twist reach and reach working deeper into the obliques for four you can also hold onto your head and do one side and then the other if you're feeling a lot of tension in your neck otherwise both hands for four three two one releasing everything down on the floor bring your knees in towards your chest let's just rock side to side and release your feet down onto the floor from there bring your legs up into a tabletop on your next exhalation if this is enough stay here if you can lift your head neck and shoulders off the ground extend the arms forward we tap right toe to the floor exhale bring it in exhale tap left inhale in exhale right bring it in maybe head is on the floor that is absolutely fine as well but if the head is on the floor try to keep belly button in and try to imprint in your lower back into the floor so pick your level tapping for three two one keep the legs in tabletop release the head down onto the floor bring your hands behind your head interlace the fingers or keep them by your ears exhale lift and then reach towards your feet inhale bring yourself back exhale lift and reach inhale back we go reach and back last one stay lifted bring your right knee in towards your chest extend the opposite leg away and then we twist not twist but switch and switch switch reach the toe away for four three two and one knees in towards the chest release the head down you can also place your feet onto the floor and windscreen wipe your knees side to side okay from there staying on your back let's stay on the back and bring the heels quite close to the bum inhale here as you exhale you tuck the tailbone under and start rolling through the spine bringing your hips nice and high squeeze the glutes at the top inhale exhale slowly rolling through the spine all the way down inhale at the bottom exhale start rolling through the spine 
picking up your middle and then your upper back off the floor feet stay parallel knees parallel and then lowering your upper middle and lower back into the floor really articulate through the spine here so feel into every vertebra of your spine and come all the way down let's go for last one and stay up this time from there no articulation in the spine we inhale to drop the hips down exhale push them up we drop and squeeze drop and lift drop lift so no articulation it's a straight drop straight lift make sure the knees are not flaring out and you are not pushing through your neck or your shoulders so check with yourself that there's no tension there we go for three and two on the last one come up stay lifted we lift one heel off the ground place it down the other one lifts place it down so one heel at a time keep your hips nice and high and keep squeezing the glutes for four and three two more last one and then let's lift both heels off the ground little pulse little pulse and pulse we squeeze for nine eight seven more six five four three more two one squeeze 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 release the knee heels and then release the hips all the way down onto the floor let's windscreen wipe those feet side to side okay team staying on our back bring your knees over your hips and then extend your arms out into a t-shape from there as you exhale let's drop our knees to the left side try to maintain that 90 degree angle and then slowly on an inhalation bring them back so try not to lift the opposite shoulder off the ground and then bring it back exhale drop side inhale back exhale we drop inhale back if this was enough stay with the knees bent otherwise try to extend your legs and then we drop to the side inhale back exhale dropping side inhale back so we again check that the shoulder is not lifting and back and again side and back release the feet down onto the floor let's just hug them in for a second you can look to the right look to the left to release your neck as well and then bring your hands behind your head tuck your chin in towards your chest and start rocking up so however many rocks it will take to bring yourself up into a seated position and then cross your legs and then push yourself over the legs come into an all fours position we will go a little bit deeper into the legs so right forearm is going to come down left hand is in line with your right elbow knees together feet together on an exhalation we open the leg out inhale bring it in so only open as far as you can keep your spine nice and still at the same time keep thinking about pushing out of that right forearm so you're extending out of it keeping your chest open collarbones are open and you're looking somewhere between your hand and your forearm point through the toe and try to maintain that 90 degree angle rotation in the hip rotation in the chest let's go for two last one keep it open knee to elbow exhale extend behind we go in and extend so the knee might not touch the elbow but if the intention is there the muscles will be working and tap and reach for three two more last one extended behind little pulse for nine we lift and lift 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 and three two one bring your knees together down and come up onto your hands make sure your shoulders are over your wrists step your feet to the back a little bit and then squeeze your glutes forward so lean forward we're going to bend into the elbows elbows in 
exhale push it away if you can come all the way down towards the floor hover and exhale push maybe you're just taking a little bend exhale push so take it to your own level you can step the feet and the knees a bit in and bend here if this is enough otherwise we take four and three two more last one exhale push and then we switch to the opposite side onto our legs this time left forearm is down right hand is in line with the left elbow knees together belly button in exhale to open inhale to close exhale open inhale close keep breathing in through the nose out through the mouth finding your breath chest is open make sure you're pushing out of that left forearm this time spread your fingers wide onto the floor so you have that stable base you can move from lifting for two last one keep it up knee to the elbow exhale behind we go in and extend in and extend let's go for three and two last one extend behind pulse and pulse for nine eight seven more six five four three two one beautiful bring your knees together and this time let's bring both forearms down onto the floor so here you can stay on your knees if you want to but if you can step into your full forearm plank from there we tap right hip down twist we tap left we go right and left you can absolutely do this with your knees down on the floor and the hips don't have to touch the floor you can just hover them and twist from the torso for four three two one come back to center and hold hold for five four three two one knees down let's push back into a child's pose this time we can bring knees apart feet together release your forehead onto the floor soften through the hips and the rib cage and from there let's roll through the spine into a seated kneeling position interlace your fingers behind slide your shoulder blades down together pull your hands away open your chest and then bring your arms in front interlace the fingers palm towards you seeker through the spine pull the hands away from the body and staying in a kneeling position or if you want you can come cross-legged let's flow the left hand over the side of the body reach and then open your chest up towards the ceiling in this position to increase the stretch come back to center take your head with you on the way back and extend your right fingertips away to stretch the side of the neck floating the right hand over the side of the body reach and let's open the chest up rotate here come back to center taking the head with us extend the fingers away and if you are already cross-legged great if not bring your feet in front feet together knees apart you can hold on to your knees and with slight pressure from your forearms try to push your knees apart towards the floor if you want to go deeper try leading with your chest lean forwards try not to leave with your face leading with the chest and feel a nice stretch in the inner thighs extending the left leg forward bring the right knee in towards the chest twist to your right keep the left foot flexed bring yourself back to center allow your right knee to drop to the side lean forward into this hamstring stretch and come back with switch sides bend your left knee and twist to the left keeping the right foot flexed 
back to center, drop the knee to the side, leaning forward. And then bring yourself back, inhale, float your arms up towards the ceiling, grow tall, exhale, release the hands and give yourself a little applause. Well done, everybody. Thank you so much for practicing with me. If you have any questions at all or any requests for future videos, leave them in the comment section below. I also teach online classes with Block London. I will leave the link to their site online. They actually have a 30 day free trial that you can join. And I teach three classes a week there. So if you wanna join me online with a live class, do join me there. Otherwise, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that yet. And thank you so much for hanging out with me. I'll see you very soon. Bye.